But if you look at the exterior of the buildings, they're looking pretty nice. So this whole road here is just two floors. And then I assume since this road is just two floors that there's gonna be another road, which is just three floors. And I'm gonna show you that as well. And the furniture's all nice, the board walking is clean. Okay, it's not amazing. Okay, in here you have a bathroom en suite. Oh my God. So we have this, which is a sitting area. One thing I do hate though, is that I don't, I don't really think I have to say it. Okay, so today we're on an adventure. We're going to a place called Ragsan Gardens, and it's one of Hargeza's first major built compounds. It's actually the first compound in Hargeza to have 50 plus townhouse to mansions. They're not technically mansions, but they're not technically townhouses, so we're gonna call them something in the middle. There, it's a very, very pristine, secure location in Hargeza, which is fully secure 24 seven, and is the first of its kind. So we're very excited to go see, has many amenities, has some gym, has a gym, has a pool, has a supermarket, has a masjid football, has a football pitch, literally within the walls, if not on the very, very outskirt of the walls. So I'm excited to see it, and I'm excited to bring you along. Let's go. Okay, so Raksan Gardens is located in an area of Hargeza called Masala. And I just wanted to bring this up because Masala is also one of the most secure um, areas of Hargeza. And there's two reasons. Reason number one is, is where the airport is located. So it's very heavily policed because of that. And reason number two is it's where all the UN, NGOs and non-profit organizations are located. So you'll see when we arrive there, the amount of blockades just to get through to the area where the compound is will be crazy and it will feel like you're going into like a militarized zone, but it's not. It's just very, very heavily policed and secure. So it's very safe. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, about all the blockades. You see these just to get into the area in which the community is located, you have to get through all these kind of blockades. And then it's this long road which has all the UN and NGOs. This. And you just see just all these blockades. Okay, so we're here in Ratan Gardens now, and as you can see, the place is looking very nice. It's very close to being finished, and everything is just looking complete. Like, obviously the insides of the houses aren't 100% finished, but if you look at the exterior of the buildings, they're looking pretty nice. I remember last time we came here around a year ago or something, like, well, firstly, 90% of the villas weren't done, but the villas that weren't done were missing windows and framings and lights and just uh, crucial parts of the house that need to be done on the exterior. So it's glad, I'm glad to see that everything's done. Even when we came here last time, the walls weren't put up. There wasn't soil, there wasn't plants, there wasn't a road, and there was, there was scrap metal on the road when we were driving here, but it's very nice to see. So as you can see, this one behind me is a two floor um, townhouse mansion, whatever we're gonna call it. And, and it's pretty big. It looks a bit squashed once you compare it to the three story villas, but it's, it's a very nice looking house. So this whole road here is just two floors. And then I assume since this road is just two floors that there's gonna be another road, which is just three floors. And I'm gonna show you that as well. But the only difference really is that the third, the three layer townhouse villa, whatever we're gonna call it, has an extra bedroom. Has an extra bedroom and then a lounge room right outside the bedroom and then a big balcony. Whereas these two floors have everything the same, except they don't have that third floor. Instead, it's just one big open roof terrace that's gonna have the AC and whatever, but majority of it will still be free and open to do as you please. It's very nice. I'll show you around, let's go. Okay, now I'm gonna mix up the chronological order of this video just a bit. And that's because when I filmed this video, I started by going to a house at random to show you what realistically the houses look like. If you were to buy today, what the house would look like. Not the show house that's all pretty, has very nice expensive furniture in it, but what you would get if you were to buy today. The only issue with that is that, that I filmed the video around two to three months ago. So the status of that house that I show in the initial portion of the video is no longer applicable to what it would be today. So I'm gonna mix around the chronological order and show the show house first. And then if you wanna stick around to the end and watch the portion of the video where I go and show you what the houses look 
that they don't want to show you, or what they are not showing to the public, what they really look like, what the everyday house there looks like. Stick around to the end. And the reason I say this is because when I'm mixing around the chronological order, there are some portions of the video that I'm going to show you first where the comparisons might not make sense. And I breeze over topics a bit too quickly because I already went more in depth with them in the second portion, which used to be the first portion. So I hope you enjoy the video. I'll let you get back to it. And that's what? Okay, so we're now in the demo house and as you can see the outside there's finer details on the outside that are different For example, there's the trees and the plants in the background and there's a pot plant there But the main difference comes from the inside Everything is furnished to the highest grade that you can get in Hargeza and it looks very very nice So we're now here in the villa and it looks very very similar to the one that we just saw the still being built one But it's nice. So as you can see it's all these curtains are long, longest curtains I've seen in my life. And the furniture is all nice, the board walking is clean. There's a bit of paint here and there, but it's clean. And as you can see, I was right. Oh no, I actually wasn't. I said that you could fit two chairs, one chair on each side, but I guess if you have no one sitting on the outside, you can put four on four sides. Actually, you know what? This table is pretty big. I thought, I thought you could only put a small table, but this table is pretty big. Yeah, so I take back what I said. You can put a normal size table here. And this kitchen window, yes. Yes. Looks very nice. All right, yellow. Okay. So, this was the bathroom door that wasn't opening in the finishing house. I'm right, it's a powder room. Very nice. As you can see, the fake marble, whatever it is that looks like marble. You've just got a toilet and then you've got a sink. Okay, so this is the master bedroom. I'm gonna call this Hoi and Abba's room. So you have your master bed, you have the rug, you have your cabinetry, you have everything. But this, the most important, the conversation room for the parents when they don't want their kids to hear. But other than that, I don't know what else there is to say. It's very nice, it's very spacious. You got a full closet. That is, that is a lot of closetry. That is Lots. big. And then you got all this. And then this, me and Malik were, me and Malik were just debating this, whether this is a walk-in closet or like a makeup kind of thing and it's not as big as a walk-in closet should be so we decided it's kind of we're going to call it the makeup area so she would sit here do her makeup in the mirror and store them away in there and this is the bathroom then we enter this bathroom we have two master bedrooms nice shower same bedroom yeah, same bathroom toilet sink nice and simple all right, now this is the balcony for the master's bedroom or Abu and Hoya's room. It's nice, there's not much else to say. I don't know, yeah, I feel like you could put a table and chair here, but it would be, have, to, have to be, have to be really, really small. One thing I do hate though, is that, I don't, I don't really think I have to say it. You wake up, you decide to step out into your balcony, and then you're just staring into someone's bedroom, All or your vice neighbors. versa. Yeah, you just, everyone, I swear there's a movie. There is a movie, I don't know who, it's a children's movie or something. I don't know if it's Dr. Zeus, I hate Dr. Zeus movies. But everyone just wakes up in the morning. Malik's cringing behind the camera. But everyone just wakes up in the morning and gets on their like balcony and says hello to their neighbors or some, I don't know bro, I don't know, stop it please. Bro, it's called The Cat in the Hat. Huh? It's The Cat in the Hat, the movie that you were talking about. Are you sure? Yeah. Is it actually? Yeah. Maybe, bro, I don't even know, but I just remember it, it's kind of like this weird, I wouldn't call it dystopian, but I forget it, it's a movie. This bathroom here, very nice, same design language, same marble, grey and white and whatever, but it's shared between these two bedrooms. So I'm going to call this Akil's room, I'm going to call that Malik's room, very creative. Alright, not much to say, it's literally just cabinetry and a bed, a room and a window. Let's actually, this window might have a good view of the park. Okay, it's not amazing. But when this is done, this house will be very nice because you can see the park from your window. Oh, but then maybe you have the generator sound. If Malik's right and that there is a generator, you can have the generator sounding all yeah, night. That's so, all right. So, what did I say this was? Akil's room? Yeah. Malik's room. This one I already like more because of these windows. Something about the design language of these corner windows. I don't know why it's necessary. It's probably super duper hard to make, but just that the window comes at a corner, makes me happy. Um, 
Yeah, bed, cabinetry the same, but I just prefer it because of that corner window. So I share it with the bathroom in the middle. So we have this, which is a sitting area. You can choose to put a TV here if you choose. I don't know, most sitting areas don't have a TV, but my family, we have like 16 TVs in our house. We would probably need it. Here, you have something that I would call Layla's room. Layla's room because she gets this pink bed, very nice curtains and everything. It's not Layla's room, but I'm gonna call it that. Come here. Okay, in here you have a bathroom, ensuite for that bedroom. You have a shower, you have a tap, you have a, what's it called, basin? And then you have a toilet back here. Windows I've seen are all frosted in this uh, villa. So I think that's how they're all gonna come because the demo has all frosted windows. The non-demo doesn't, so I'm pretty sure they're just going to stick that on all the windows that are bathroom related. Okay, let's go. Okay, so Malik's tired of recording, he says his hand got tired. So now he is going to be doing the, what do you call it, narrating? Yeah, yeah. Commentary? Yeah. Okay, let's right. go. Okay, so let's go upstairs. We have another sitting area up here. Again, you can have a TV here. Probably not. Is this this one must one. be the third level, so I was wrong. Yeah, yeah this, started, this is three level uh, demo. Yeah. I don't know where the two level is. Okay, so we have two chairs here, couch here, couch here, nice and simple, coffee table. So Malik, okay, how many living rooms slash sitting rooms are there then? Four. Really? Three. Three, three, three. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so here we have like a, like a balcony. It goes that way as well. It goes to there. Um, Nice and simple, a bed, you have two side tables, a little uh, table here and a nice mat. Same thing as in the lower levels, we have a massive um, cabinet. Up there, the, the makeup, what Akil uh, was saying. Then we enter this bathroom. This is, this is another master bedroom, so we have two master bedrooms. Nice shower, same bedroom, uh, same bathroom, toilet, sink. Nice and simple. And yeah, that's it for this room. You wanna show us the balcony or no? Yeah, sure. Let's see the balcony. How do we even get into the balcony? You just figure it out. Let's see. Step over that. Let's see. All right, so it goes further than I thought. Wow. Wow, it's almost 360. So we have this area right here. Let me come this way. Massive area, massive, you could play football up here. Comes all the way to there. Nice big area, you can see outside, you can see inside. You're not gonna show the compound and say, oh yeah, look at these houses. Camera, I'm not doing this, take back my uh, camera. Yeah. All right. So, here you have all the villas of the whole compound. You have a full 360 view. You can walk around here and see this side of the compound. And I swear, this would have to be one of the best villas in this compound only because you come, you put your seating area or whatever, you have direct view access of the, what do you call it, park. It's going to get better than that. It's going to get much better. And it's not on the outside. I feel like, to be honest, if you bought a villa, they're on the outside, you would kind of be at a disadvantage because someone could pick up a rock and throw it at your window and that would not be very nice. Or people on the street could just sit there and watch you because the windows are so damn close to the outside wall. They definitely didn't think about that when they were designing. Yalla. Okay, so like Malik said, I feel like this is a big enough area that you could do whatever you wanted with it. It kind of compensates for the really tiny backyard or courtyard or whatever you want to call it. But I feel like you could put a small, you put two baby goals, you could have a football pitch. This comes. Or even a pool, look. Oh uh, no, oh. stop joking. You know the weight of water? <laughs> now, before you continue on to see my initial review of the non-show house, I have to address today's video sponsor, Hunty Homes. Hunty Homes is a revolutionary app concept for the region as they are making finding, connecting and buying your dream house in Somaliland seamless. Because if you've ever tried to buy property or land in Somaliland, you would know the absolute hurdles and politics that go into it. So I really do take my hat off to you, Hunty Homes, as anyone that puts their time, effort and money into building and bettering our Somaliland I think it's worth it. So I'm told that Hunty Homes will be launching very, very soon. So keep an eye out for them and make sure you're buying your home the Hunty way. All right, I'll let you get back to the video and I hope you enjoy. Akil, remember, remember how we are talking about how like large the windows are uh, on the bottom floor? Yeah, as yeah, you look, can see it here. This is what it looks like from here. You can see how massive it is. That's, that's the bottom floor and it goes all the way up to there. And then this is the floor that we're on now. So. 
you can see how big it is. Okay. Um, and this one, I was wrong at the very start. I said that this was a two floor villa. Obviously I don't have eyes because this is a two floor villa. And you can see the difference. Where we're standing and that bedroom and that second living room that we just, that Malik just showed you with his amazing narrating or commentary is right where that thing would be. That thing is just a staircase to lead you up to your roof. And then once you get on the roof, imagine what Malik said, you could put a football pitch. You could put three football pitches up there because there's nothing. There's no bedroom, living room, sitting room, whatever up here. It's just full roof line. And yes, there will be the AC units and the whatever. So you'll have to block that off. But how big really is AC units? They're not that big. So if you think about it, they're all the same size really. They're all the same size, yes, until you get to here. And then instead of getting this little like one bedroom apartment without a kitchen, that's literally what I'm gonna call it. It's a one bedroom apartment. You got your living room, your bedroom, a bathroom, and then no kitchen. So you got a one bedroom apartment on the third floor. If you get the three floor package, if you get the two floor package, you get the full man uh, mansion, townhouse, house, whatever you wanna call it. And then just a big open terrace roof. I would prefer that one only because I could make a massive football pitch and it would really, really compensate for a tiny backyard. But then again, there's some people that have obviously a much bigger family. There's no one that has a bigger family than us. Mm, no, we yeah, in Somali there is. In Somaliland there is, yeah. But if you had a bigger family than us, you would take this one, the three level where you could put, I don't know, just someone who wants a, third, a second master bedroom. Say you've like a 20 year old son that still lives with you and he needs his own space or whatever. So he gets that master bedroom and then all the other kids that you don't really care about, they're not your favorite, they just go downstairs. So I'm outside here, I'm taking a tour around the outside of the villa and we have this outdoor patio that connects by a sliding door to the living room. I, Malik thinks that you, this is meant for two seating areas. You can just put a baby table in, but I think if you were smart and you designed it correctly and you positioned it correctly, you could put a full size dining table for outdoor dining. Hargeza's so temperature is perfect the majority of the year. Come on, bro. Look, I'll jump and then give me the camera. Uh -huh. and then you jump. Oh my god! Oh my days, what the hell? Damn, they're so cute. There's some baby puppies down here and I don't know if I can get it. Jeez. Jeez, okay. So this is the maid's room. Slash outdoor kitchen, but I don't think we can access the outdoor kitchen. No, we can't. This would be where your outdoor kitchen is. You open the door, you open the window, whatever. Now this is where your maid's room is. Oh, bro, can I please open this? Jeez, no, I don't think I can. I think it's locked. But essentially, I've seen it here before. It's a maid's room and then a tiny bathroom on the inside. Yeah, I think you can fill through. So that's the room and then that door right there is the bathroom. But it's stuff like this, like all these rocks everywhere have these Oh, this is nice. That, that would make me scared to own a house on the outside wall. Because I'll show you a photo. I even videoed it at the start of the video. There's like, the, the wall is only this high. Your building's that high. Any kid can throw a rock from there to that window up there. And it smashes. So that's why I would not buy on the outside of this uh, community. <laughs> I'm going to take you inside now and keep an open mind because it's not finished we got exclusive vip access to this place most contractors would never let you do this but it's all for you guys so this is the main living room so yeah but the windows are so big i love it but this would be bedroom number one here i think this is also called a guest bedroom i'm not sure exactly what it's going to be called on paper but this is the bedroom, first bedroom on the floor, and it comes with its own bathroom. You have the bathrooms here, they're just how I remember. I'm happy with the way the bathrooms are looking. Let me show you around the rest of the house. So you have your cabinetry here, or the guest bedroom, first bedroom, whatever you want to call it. Quality wise and finish wise, it's the best property I've seen so far in Hargeza. Follow me. This here is the dining room. I love it because there's lots of light. The, the dining room that we have in our house now that we're renting is not amazing because it's just in the middle of the house and there's no sunlight that gets to it. Where this, you have sunlight coming from everywhere. You can see your garden. Say you make your garden nice, I'll say. I know that's not nice, but imagine it's nice. Imagine it's flowers, flowers and butterflies green. and whatever. It would be super nice to see that. So you just have your tiny... You can't put a big dining table here though. I feel like 
if you put a big dining table, you wouldn't be able to move around. So it's probably just going to be like a square where you have one person sit there, two here, one here, and then two there as well. And then this is super safe. You have your, what's this called, like a kitchen window? Yeah, you so come you and get your food. The, your maid or your whatever that's cooking your food here, you take it, you put it on the table, and uh, enjoy. And enjoy, instead of walking all the way around through the living room with the food, that's very helpful. I just like this place. This, this, these villas have to be my favorite villas in all of Hargis, and I'll tell you why. They've been built with purpose and built by designers that actually know what they're doing. Most of the places in Hargis, are, they're kind of mismatched and they don't really make sense. Um, but this, it's, it's done by uh, with intention. So this room was intended to be a living room, and so they can put windows here. But if they were just to build a house, and then you just pick that room to be a living room, there might not be the same vibe of windows and the kitchen window and everything. But one main thing that I'll show you is well, what we're going to see in the demo house is not this. We're not going to see this. We're going to see railing and everything. See if I'll just put a, put a wrong foot here. We die. die. Yeah. yeah. But also, you won't be seeing this. Whereas, um, yeah. So this is this is very exclusive access, and I and I couldn't I, I could have chosen not to record this, but I wanted to show you the real what it's looking like right now and the quality of stuff right now. Because to be honest, if someone was to buy it today, this is what it looked like. It's still a few months away from being complete. But yeah. Now that concludes our tour. The villa I just showed you goes from around 300 to 350,000 USD and that's because it's a three level model. If you were to go with a two level model, that would cost you around 200 to 250,000 USD. But that's to say that if you could get one, you'd pay that, but you will not because all of these villas that you see have already been sold out. So you would be put on a waiting list and so the prices are expected to increase. But that's not to take away the revolutionary effect that this is gonna have on Hargeza. These villas are really setting the standard for what luxury is here in Hargeza. And I'm very blessed to come here and see it and show it to you today. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I thank you for watching.